very great to be back. So before I get into my resume, and rather than stating my resume, because you guys probably don't care about that, I'll tell you what I wish I knew when I was sitting in your seat, because I think that's probably a lot, a lot more valuable to you. There's three things I wish I knew. One thing is that I wish I knew was if I knew that what I study, what I don't know, I won't know in real life. What I don't know in the book, I won't know in real life. So what you read about in your book, if you don't understand it and you don't read it and you and don't memorize it and you don't know it like the back of your hand, you will not recognize it. If you don't know what coccidiomycosis is in the book, you will not know it in real life. So I strongly urge you to read your book vehemently. Second thing I wish I knew coming into uh, uh, being in a first and second year was to become re-inspired. We all probably came to med school because we wanted to help people. And don't forget that you are here to help people and your ignorance will be lethal in two years. Literally, what you do not know will kill somebody and what you know will help somebody, will cure somebody. Okay, so re remember that. Remember why you're here and become inspired and find that passion again to learn so that you make it through those books because you know that you have to study and, and know it in the book to know it in real life. And the last thing I wish I knew when I was a first or second year is to question everything. Okay, question everything that you're told. So I brought something in here. How many of you have one of these? How many? Just raise your hand. Come on, like five people? Okay, all right. This is useless, okay? This is useless. Does anybody know what this is? What is this? Does anybody know what this is? This is an ultrasound. Does anybody know how much this costs? Okay, no, okay, good. So you guys are copying all of your, you know, look, I did the same thing, right? Let's not fall into the habit of copying the people before us. Let's think about what we're doing. You have this because you want to listen to organs, right? And imagine what's going on inside the body, right? This is gold. This costs 1500 bucks, which is not a lot, really. You could probably afford that. It's one month's rent. Okay, you can literally see inside the body. So none of you should be using that. Everybody should be buying this right now, right? Okay, right? So question everything that you do. Does anybody, I know you guys are first and second year, but just tell me if you, if you know, what, what are the treatments you'd give for somebody with a heart attack? If I just broke down and have a heart attack right now, what would you do for me? Just raise your hand, call it out really loud. Morphine, oxygen, this is great that he said that. None of those help me. None of those will improve mortality. Morphine, oxygen, nitrates, whatever, okay? None of those will improve mortality. So you know what I would want if I was having an MI right now? I would want an aspirin, and I'd want somebody to shave my, my hip so that I can have a catheterization done. Okay, so don't just fall in the habit of learning the old stuff that, you know, the, the people with the, like me with thick glasses tell you is right. Don't fall in the habit of using this when there's this. Don't fall in the habit of learning Mona, okay, when there's, there's therapies now that save lives, okay? So get inspired. Remember why you're here, to help people. Remember that your ignorance is lethal, okay? Remember that what you know will help people. And just don't copy what you see because if somebody's not thinking in front of you and you're doing what they are doing, you're just not thinking either, right? Okay, one last thing. Who won the Super Bowl? The Pats. Okay, who's the quarterback? Tom Brady, great. Okay, you, just so you know, I have no idea either one of those, answered either one of those questions, all right? Which drugs in diabetes, okay, which drugs in diabetes improve cardiac outcomes? Okay, do you see the difference in this? I asked you some BS pop culture reference or sports reference. You know, what's the name of Kanye West's son? North, right? Okay. So you guys know the name of Kanye West's or Kim Kardashian's children. What is the diabetes medication that improves cardiac outcomes? You didn't go over it yet. Yeah, that's, that's not an excuse, right? You're, you're responsible for the knowledge, not, not anybody else. If you're a first year, I apologize. If you've done pharmacology, you should know this, okay? All right, it's an SL, SGL2 inhibitors, right? How do they kill people? Does anybody know? How do those drugs that improve cardiac outcomes kill people? Not to like make you feel dumb. I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to make a point. Everybody knows the Super Bowl scores here. Everybody knows Kanye West's son. Nobody knows what's going to help people, right? So let's reevaluate why you're here, right? Reevaluate why you're here. Sorry to take up so much time. Is that we remember from step one? So the, the question was, how to succeed in in perfect three things you need to know: how to succeed in your rotations. Be early. Read the chart. See the patient before you're expected to. I guess four things. Anything you don't know, look it up, okay? So be early, which means come in before you're supposed to be there, be eager to be there, be happy to be there, uh, and, and get off your phone and look at people, look at the janitor, look at the secretary, uh, look at the patient before you're expected to. So be early, okay? See the patient, 
before you're expected to. Ask them, you know, ask them everything you need to know about them, okay? Ask them everything because they hold the key, right? They hold the, all the information you need is right there. What you don't know, go and look it up, okay? Go and look it up. The minute you're done with that patient, okay, you're gonna not know a lot. You should not know a lot. The minute you step out, you should have a lot of questions that you wanna go and confirm and read about the diabetes, the hypertension, the obesity. So go look it up, read it, read up to date. Up to date is gonna be your savior, okay? So read up to date for everything. Go back to your notes, your medical textbooks, okay? So be early, see the patient, read, and you know, just remember why you're there. As long as you're inspired, it's not work, it's, it's, it's passion, and, and you'll be fine. Sorry, one last thing. Everybody's gonna read your notes. Okay, when you, again, don't just see and do. Don't look at, you know, the older physicians who write three-line notes about the patient, right? So they have a different experience level. Everybody's going to look to see how much you wrote. So if you look at how a note should be done, the attending note is like three lines. The resident note is like 20 lines. The medical student note should be like two pages, okay, or three pages. It should quote articles. It should quote, you know, have articles listed in it that are relevant to the patient. It should cite primary work. I mean, it should literally be like everybody's looking to you to see what how you think. And I'm not talking about, you know, the vitals and the input and output. And I'm not talking about that stuff, right? Like you're not a data gatherer. We want you to see how you think, how critically you think. What is your assessment? What is your plan? Why is your plan your plan? What primary evidence do you have to support your plan? Okay, so, so as a medical student, the bigger that note is, the more thought out that assessment and plan is, which is why you're here to think, the, the better you know, the better you'll, you'll be in rotations. This is a half hour discussion. <laughs> okay, love yourselves, treat yourselves well. Do not forget yourselves. If you look around the room, okay, for every five people you see, somebody's severely depressed, mm -hmm. somebody's gonna burn out. Mm -hmm. Okay, we had suicide in our class, so treat yourselves well and treat your colleagues well. Okay, that's the only thing I, you know, the best thing I could say, don't eat crap. I see chips and stuff here, just don't eat crap. <laughs> No, I'm serious. I see somebody drinking energy drinks and soda. Energy drinks are not a replacement for sleep. Okay, so so treat yourselves well. You guys have a gym here. I actually helped set this gym up. I don't know if you guys see. I I don't know if it's still in a good shape, but I literally made the gym. Okay, so listen. My point is, treat yourselves well. Don't forget. It takes 15 minutes that you could do a quick workout. Okay, and put, what you put into your mouth is so important. Okay, it will make your mood worse. It'll make your mood better. Eat real food. Don't eat this processed crap. Don't eat, you know, just don't, just treat yourselves well. <laughs>